let's ask our young people to really ask themselves why and when they would chat with strangers online. Once we've told them about the dangers, you know, we really need to ask ourselves, why are our young people chatting to strangers online? Well, there's a lot of strangers online looking for them. Perpetrators are waiting in children's spaces, looking to groom, manipulate, and hurt our young people. So we've really got to be honest about the factors that make young people go ahead and ignore our advice. Let's think about sexual curiosity, okay? So one of the main reasons I think that young people chat with strangers online is because they really want to express themselves romantically but their young minds can't, they lack the cognitive ability to be able to process and, and, and think about the consequences of what might be viewed as innocent flirtation. Online friending is nothing more than a virtual reality, but this is a concept that they're not able to grasp. A virtual bond might just feel like a crush, and we know that's when common sense goes flying out the window. And then there's peer pressure. So, Another factor will be loneliness, right? So as, a, as another key factor, we know that young people, you know, kind of pull away from their family at some point and really are into their peer group and their friends um, and they're trying to be independent and that's okay. Some of the times there's like um, another type of distancing in the family, maybe where there's been an emotional impact uh, due to a family, some anguish in the family. Um, and then other young people just don't have any role models or any big sisters and big brothers to look up to, or they don't have um, someone modeling a healthy relationship. So due to all these factors, you know, too much freedom can be dangerous. So we really have to talk to them about if they can really ask themselves certain questions.